I recently spent a while shopping around for a backend system for my game. The main initial requirement was for it to handle uh, user authentication, logging in and registration. But I thought that further down the line I'd also like to add um, some multiplayer room management and also high score tables. And I came across um, Strappy which is a backend API, it's open source um, and it handles all the login and registration and user management for you. And the great thing is it's really easy to set up, you can probably get started within 5 minutes. Because it's open source you can host it yourself and that means there's no monthly fees, which I know is very common for other backend systems, and it's pretty much infinitely customizable, with all the data being routed through the built-in API endpoints. They call it a headless CMS, which means that you can use it with Unity, um, but you can also plug it into any website you're creating or any other front-end system you might be running as part of your game. So in this video, I'm going to show you the Strappy for Unity game asset that I've created, which makes it really easy to take a pre-built login and registration form, drop it into your project, um, and get started with Strappy straight away. Bear in mind Strappy also has built-in third-party login providers. Um, I won't cover that in this video, but if there's enough demand I might make a future video about that. In order to follow this video you'll need to first set up a um, local Strappy instance. I've got mine running on uh, my local computer here. Ignore the fact that I've got other collection types set up, uh, we're only going to be focusing on the user table for this video. To set up a local instance for yourself it's very easy. Um, go to the Strappy documentation page and then uh, scroll down to the quick start guide and you'll see that there's basically just two steps. Um, if you've got Node installed already then you can use this command. If you haven't got Node installed um, then it talks you through that above. And once you run this command you can navigate to your local host um, in, in a web browser and you can set up your administrator user and then you'll be ready. You, you will be presented with this view and you can scroll to the users collection type and we can start um, integrating with Unity. Bear in mind that before you um, go live with your game, you'll need to have a Strappy instance um, in production as well, which means that it's being hosted somewhere on the internet. I made a previous video about getting Strappy set up on Google Cloud Platform, but whilst testing, you don't actually need that. So um, as long as you've got a local instance set up, you're good to go. So the first step is to click on the download link in the description uh, for the asset, and then import it into your uh, Unity project. I've just got a blank project here. And then once you've imported it under your uh, project tab, you should see Strappy for Unity. So once you've got the Strappy for Unity directory there, the second step is to add the Strappy prefab. So go into the prefabs directory and you should see uh, a, a prefab called strappy.prefab. Drag that into your scene hierarchy. And then you should see on the right under your inspect tab, you've got a base URL field. This is where you'll need to copy and paste um, your base URL. The default is localhost on port 1337. If you just tab back to your Strappy instance, you can copy it directly from the URL tab here and paste it into base URL. The third step is to add the login or register prefab. So drag that into your scene hierarchy as well. And then if you click on the game tab, you'll see that we've got, uh, it's showing up in the game view now. And step four is to tell um, your new newly added canvas where your Strappy instance is. So with your login or register canvas selected, Scroll down in your inspector to the um, login or register form component and you should see there's a strappy field here. Over in your scene hierarchy, drag the strappy object into this field and now the uh, login and register buttons will be hooked up to communicate with your strappy object. And finally, you'll need to create an event system if you don't already have one. To do that, right click and under UI, select event system and that just controls uh, the mouse input events. And that's pretty much it, we're all set to test this, so let's um, click play to test this in play mode. And you should see that you've got a login screen that shows up immediately. If you click on the register button below login, it will switch to the register. And under username, let's just type in a test user. And a test email address. And a password. And click on register. Now if everything's gone correctly, you should see this message success, welcome, and then your test username. Um, and the final thing to do is just to check in your Strappy instance on your local uh, on your local host that everything's come through correctly. So tab back to your browser and refresh the page. And there you have it. You've got your test user and all of the details have been passed through correctly. You can now rerun your game and you should be able to log in with the same details you just entered. And that's it. It really is that easy. Let me know in the comments if you've got anything you'd like me to go through in more detail. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.